Have you seen these AI-generated QR codes yet? They look like living, breathing pieces of art that are functional and able to wow our users. What if you wanted to generate your own AI QR codes? And what if I told you that this is possible in just a few easy clicks? Using the powerful low-code and no-code capabilities of BuildChip, we're going to build ourselves a QR code generator. So here I am in BuildChip, I've got my project and all of my workflows here, and I'm going to go ahead and add a new template using the QR code generator template. And you can see a lot of this is already going to be done for us. So I'm going to click here, and that'll instantly create a workflow that we can start deploying and using in just a few moments. First, let's walk through what we've got here. We've got our trigger, which is the API REST call, and we can see the path QR codes already used. So I'm going to come up with something else. Let's give this a more RESTful name. So I'm going to call this QR codes, and the method is going to be POST. Next, we're going to use our new replicate client. So this is going to use replicate to create an image for us. We can see that the model is already filled in for us to generate a QR code. The input is going to come already from the URL and the prompt of the body. And we can edit our default to communicate with Replicate itself. The only thing we need to do here is put in our Replicate token, which we can add to our secrets. I've already got it added here, but if you wanted to add your own Replicate token, you just need to click on Add Secret over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And there we go, friends. Let's, let's open this up just for curiosity's sake. And we can see here we've got some JavaScript that we can already plug and play to use Replicate to create our image. It'll return an output. Let's go ahead and ship this. I'm going to click on Ship here. Now that that's deployed, let's go ahead and test it in Postman. All right, here we are in Postman. You can see I've already put in our data. Here's our URL for our workflow, our post. And we're going to send in as JSON the URL with buildshit.com and prompt, which is a cool computer motherboard. It's going to look super great. So let's go ahead and click send. Amazing. So now we can see we've gotten as a response that URL. Let's go ahead and open it and see what it looks like. Amazing. So there's our QR code that looks like a motherboard. Let's go back to build ship real quick. All right, so the last part of our workflow is of course the return. And we saw that it gave us a URL. Let's just take a look at that in more detail. So we've got our 200 and the value comes from our replicate client output. Now, of course, this is just scratching the surface of what you can do. You can generate them one time for fun, sure, but you can use BuildChip to not just generate these QR codes, but automatically integrate them into your existing applications with just this API call. For example, if you're running an event, why not integrate these QR codes into the tickets so that attendees have a fun way to get started and register at your event? Let's go ahead and add a node in between our replicate and return nodes by clicking here. And we're going to use resend. So we've already got a built-in recent node. Perfect. Let's click on add. And we can see we've already got a bunch of stuff here. So let's add our API key. So this is going to be from our secrets. Remember, you can add your own resend token. And it's going to come from team at buildship.com. So the two we're going to fill in in the code. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. The subject will be see you at build ship. And the HTML will fill in in the code as well. And the attachments we will leave blank. So let's dive into our code here. Great. So we're going to fill this in too. And we'll send this to myself, Ramon at buildship.com. And the HTML we will write by hand. Let's add a new const content and we'll just write some HTML in here. So h1 see you at build ship. Close our h1 and the image we're going to embed as a source and here we're going to use template literals to bring in our param 
So we're going to integrate a new parameter, which is QR code. QR code. And this is going to be a required field. So go back to our node logic, and we're going to integrate this here. So QR code. So just use QR code. And of course, we've got to have all text. So we're going to make this QR code for build ship. And there we go. So instead of HTML using the parameter, we're going to use our content variable. Amazing. So let's save what we've done so far and just add this QR code here, which is going to come as an expression. And we're going to copy over the value from the return. So replicate client output zero. So the variable comes from replicate client dot output at position zero. And there we go. Let's go ahead and deploy our changes. Cool. There's a couple of errors here. The two and the HTML are required. What I'm going to go ahead and do is change our node once again to not use these because we're going to be hardwiring them. So delete them from here. Go to our params and delete the two and HTML params. Click on save. And now we can try deploying once again. And there you have it. When we go and try it again, we'll be able to receive an email with that QR code embedded. And you can see with a little bit of low code, we can still build some really powerful things. And again, you can see we've just with a few changes completely overhauled how this workflow works. This and a whole bunch of other stuff is available with BuildShip, so sign up at buildship.com and get started with making your powerful backends. We'd love to see what you build with it. There's more videos coming, so I'll see you next time.